names and, of course, favorite seafood restaurants. And many times, in his early years as well, momentous occasions at Boston's Parker House Hotel. Opened in 1855, the Parker House is the oldest continuously operated hotel in the U.S. The hotel historian, Susan Wilson, says the location across the street from the old city hall made it a favorite for many politicians, including JFK's grandfather, Mayor Honey Fitz. JFK was born in 1917 in Brookline, but he hung out here a lot. So when he was six years old in 1923, they were having a big party for Honey Fitz. And James Michael Curley saw little JFK sitting outside and said, why are you here? And he said, well, my, they're celebrating my grandfather. And he said something like, I have the greatest grandfather in the world. And that is JFK's first public speech. After serving in World War II, JFK returned to Boston and lived a few blocks away from the hotel on Bowdoin Street. This was the epicenter. And it was great food, great ambiance. So they had all kinds of celebrations here. Also in 1946, when he did decide to run for Congress, he made his formal announcement of his candidacy in the press room at the Parker House. Kennedy had a favorite table in the hotel's restaurant. This is the famous table number 40. In the corner of Parker's restaurant in 1953, this is where John F. Kennedy formally proposed to Jacqueline Bouvier. You will read many stories about the proposal. However, we insist that this was the formal proposal and all the rest are our alternative facts. <laughs> JFK's bachelor party took place here. His friends presented him with a painting of he and Jackie based on a Life magazine cover. That cover and other memorabilia are part of a small exhibit here at the Parker House. With it being the 100th birthday, he's a part of the fabric here. Knowing that JFK stood here, it's kind of, it's exciting.